one area that's most difficult to think about is what is a product versus what is is just a paid upgrade to your existing platform. Like under what grounds should you say like this is a new product or this is just an extra tab that you pay an extra few dollars to unlock? There are loads of arguments as to when you should do one versus the other. Usually it's around like, does it have a distinct buyer that for whom the other product wouldn't wouldn't appeal to? And if so, do you have a cross sell upsell plan? Like how do you how do you make sure that these people hear about each other and buy it such that it doesn't end up just being an entirely separate line of business? So and we've made mistakes here. We've definitely made mistakes there. We've confused products with features and features with products. How do you know whether it's a feature or a product? I often have this with founders, right? I sound like the douche VC when I say, I think it's a feature, not a product, and they get fucked. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 so I totally agree. If you're looking at it from the venture capitalist's point of view, or even maybe like from the CEO's point of view, you might be tempted to think everything's a product because you're actually, you're, you're actually thinking about its impact on potential time expansion and you're thinking about revenue and all that. I think you have to look at it from the customer's point of view and say, for the vast majority of our customers who use our current product, would they expect this to be part of a connected workflow within the platform? Or do they think that this is somewhat uh, exogenous to what, what they're currently doing here? And then there's other nuanced pieces, like how are they currently solving the problem that this feature slash product uh, solves? And if the answer is they're doing it in Excel or whatever, then yeah, you could probably uh, argue you pull it in as a feature. If they actually have an, another platform where they like track holidays or whatever the hell it is, right? whatever the feature might do. Uh, if they have a whole other solution that already, that's usually a sign that they were willing to buy two different products in this space. So you actually could justifiably uh, claim that this is an entirely separate product, possibly with separate buyers and all that. But I think you have to look at it, not from a balance sheet or, or not even from a technical perspective or even a product purist perspective, but just what do you, what do your customers expect and how are they currently solving the problem?